Okay, so basically the way these things go in here, if you look there in the center, you'll see there's a little screw. And that screw uh, has this go go into it. So this long, this long shaft here goes in there to hold it in place. It goes through that hole. What I usually do is I set this up first inside there, just have it stick out just a hair right there. So it's already sticking out just a little bit, so I don't have to fish around for it. You just set it down and then set your slider in. And the other thing you want to check, you want to make sure you have that little brown thing in there so it funnels the coins in the right place. Make sure you don't have any screws in it, down in there. No, no screws flopping around, nothing in there. This one here, we just replaced the timer. Got a good used one off eBay. And so basically, once you set this thing up in here, and make sure those, uh, these, these are like double-edged screws, these two screws on the top, and they fit right in these two holes here. And then they, they rest because there's a, a big lip on them that holds them in. And the same thing on the bottom ones. See that lip? That lip will hold it inside the slot. Once you kind of get it up in there, then you can screw that, that holding screw in and, uh, and tighten it down. Okay, so if your coins get jammed in here, it could be that one of the coins has been kind of bent or something. And on this, this one, actually, the holding screw, this is a holding screw here, These there's two holding screws. One of the holding screws came loose and it fell up inside there where the coins normally go. And so when you try to push it forward, it wouldn't go forward because we had one of these screws. These two screws hold this plate here on that, uh, that holds the spring. And so, uh, you might have to take your little unit apart and make sure that this little screw hasn't fallen back down in there. And, uh... Uh, what I did is I actually lubed it a little bit, too. So... This is... Old school. Definitely old school. So, it's working out. Okay, so once you got everything lined up, and there's the holding nut right there. That has to come either out or put back in, depending upon what you're doing. And that slider, of course, has to match up with that tang there. You see that tang action? There's a little spring on it. The lever, this coin lever thing slides forward, and then it pulls this back, just a hair. And we're going to watch and see if that gets pulled out back and out. So it's all in there nice and tight. You see it's not floppy or anything. Old school. Now they have card readers. You can put your card in and automatically debit card action. Okay, so we're gonna plug it in. I'm gonna watch and see what it is. Okay, looks like it's working. And to run it through a cycle, you can just simply advance that little tang with your hand. Be careful, don't try this at home. Because working on appliances may be hazardous. If you need any help, I give uh, phone consultations for $25. And I also have a course on how to make money in the appliance repair business. Okay, washer's fixed. Sweet.